COVID-19 analyzes COVID-19 policies in relation to protests from three countries, the US, Brazil, and South Korea. We focused on these uh, policies from January 2020 to July 2021. All links to the data are, are right here. And our purpose is to show the effectiveness of these policies and protests side by side as the pandemic progressed since vaccination rates and death rates do not necessarily mean that a policy worked. First up, the policies are located above the title of each graph, so users can choose a policy to view. And the maps show the location of each nation in case users don't know where they are. And the bubbles of each country add extra information about each country's policies. For face coverings, the graph shows uh, the x-axis of the graph shows the time progression of the pandemic, while the y-axis shows the stringency of the policies implemented. So zero means absolutely no mask policies, while four means the most strict policies. And you can have all the graphs for the countries show up at once for comparison, or you can choose to tog toggle them off. For the second graph, which is stay-at-home orders, the x-axis stays the same as the first graph, but the y-axis shows the varying levels of stay-at-home policies of each country using the same scale. For public campaigns, the y-axis changes now that it represents how thorough and how much effort each government makes in turning out a COVID-19 campaign. Last but not least, we visualize data about protests relating to corona policies, and the map shows the number of known protests occurring. The graph's x-axis shows how many days each protest lasted, while the y-axis shows the number of people that attended protests in thousands. So for example, the first red bar shows 700,000 people in the US attended a protest that lasted one day. And South Korea had no known protests, so it is not shown on the graph here. To give site viewers in-depth explanations about the data and what could have caused the outcomes, there are detailed explanations on the sidebar. Through our graphs, it can be seen that each country approached the pandemic very differently. Our X uh, for this visualization, uh, we decided to use this bar graph to show the protest data. Our X axis didn't include any dates as the other three graphs did, so we did not use a line graph for that one to show the time progression. We hope our project allows users to understand the effectiveness of non-medical policies and how they can contribute.